How we doing guys? What an SBC this is. This is like a really cool uh, flashback set of cards here. So you get a player pick. You either get Fabio or Raphael. Both who played for Manchester United. Both twins, obviously. Now these cards look pretty good, to be fair. Raphael's got 90 pace, 87 dribble with 70 shoot, 88 defence, 87 pass, 83 fizz. Fabio's got a little bit of extra pace, 92 pace, 88 dribbling, um, 70 shoot, 85 defence, 83 pass, 89 fizz. Now, these do look pretty decent, to be fair. I might get Fabio for my team to replace Alexandro or to give him a try. It's not crazy expensive because obviously the SBCs uh, have gone for the mid-icon pack, so they have slightly dropped the high-rated players. It's an 83 squad and an 85. The first one is an 83 squad. You need a minimum of one Manchester United player. You need one Team of the Week or Team of the Week moments. It's an 83 squad of 80 chemistry. So um, the inform we've gone for is Mark Noble because he's an 81 rated. 47 pace, man. I've got two United players. You could replace Harry Maguire if you really want to. Um, I've only just done it because I've also realised halfway through that one matter is like super cheap as well. So you could replace Maguire if you want. Uh, there's ten, there's eight loyalty uh, spare, eight chemistry spare because I've got two loyalties. So you've got a spare eight chemistry. We've gone with Pepe Reina in goal, Casper Schmeichel at right back, Otamendi and Maguire at centre backs, Luke Digne uh, left back. We have got Henderson at CDM to boost the rating. We've got Jorginho, Juan Mata. Mark Noble, like I said, Felipe Anson is our 84 rated player, and we've got Haller up front. So, full Premier League team, shouldn't be too expensive. Your only main player might be uh, Felipe Anson, because he's 84. Uh, maybe Digne, because he's a left back. You could, again, change him out. Maybe if you want to put Pickford in, maybe give that a go. That would work. That will get you sorted for the first one, and that will bring you a small prime gold players pack. The second one is for a rare mixed player pack, which is quite a decent pack. Mixed meaning you'll get four of each for bronze, silver, and gold. This is a slightly more expensive one because it is an 85 rated team. Uh, you do need one team of the week. I've gone with Camille Glick. You could easily go for somebody else who is lower rated. I just thought Glick's never really that expensive anyway. Uh, and he's the one league at Un player. I've then built a bit of a hybrid around him. We've gone for Casillas in goal. We have Danny Carvajal at right back. We then have Camille Glick's inform, or Team of the Week, Team of the Week moments at centre-back. We then have Pepe linking to Alex Tellez. At right midfield, we have Koke. We have Danny Parejo playing centre-mid with Saul, or Saul. Uh, we have Felipe Anson at left midfield. Then we have Iago Aspas and Onana playing up top. I've got one loyalty, so you will have two chemistry to spare. Uh, if you do fancy changing someone up, you could do that very, very easily. Uh, I've got, yeah, some players that, you know, barely any chemistry, barely any chemistry. Uh, so that will get it completed. Now, I do want to, actually, I will go back in here because I do want to have a look at the exact stats to break these players down. Uh, do make sure if you have enjoyed the video, do leave a thumbs up, do subscribe if you're new, and uh, leave a comment as well if you have decided to do them or not. Let's see if we can find them. I don't know. It's just called Fabio. There we go. If we look at Fabio, let's put them side by side, actually. Let's put them side by side. And then uh, next to him, we have Raphael. Both, I mean, Raphael was a, a bit more of a star, wasn't he, at uh, Manchester United than Fabio. Uh, Raphael became quite well known at right back. Did pick up a few red cards in his time. But you compare the stats of these two. No, you can't really. But it's two pace on Fabio, one dribbling extra. Uh, shooting's exactly the same. Defence, Raphael has three more. Passing, he has four more, Raphael. But then there's six physical difference. Medium, medium here. Uh, high, medium, four star, three star, and then three star, four star. I'd probably rather take Fabio, to be honest. Long throw, and he is injury prone. 92 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. I'm not going to go into the shooting stats because he's a, a left back, obviously. Passing's pretty good, 86 crossing, 87 short pass. Doesn't have a lot of curve, though. Does have 99 jumping, 99 aggression. Only 77 stamina, actually. That's quite weak. Does have 94 agility and 98 balance. Uh, great composure. His defending's pretty good. Now, what's Raphael's stamina? Raphael has way more stamina, but less strength by quite a quite a way. But he's got 93 acceleration uh, and 87 sprint speed. Great attack positioning for some reason. 92. Uh, really good dribbling stats. Really good defending. 92 interceptions. It's a bit of an awkward one though. A bit of an awkward one. He's also injury prone. Does have a flare trait though. Fabio would be really good if he'd had like 85 plus stamina. He is only medium, medium. If you have him on stay back, maybe he'll be okay. But like I said, do let me know if you guys decide to do them. Hopefully the video's helped you out. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and leave a comment. And I'll see you on the video very soon.